One, two, three. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here on a beautiful day, uh, Apollo has shined down upon us, and the weather is gorgeous. There's great people here from all around New England, and we're going to take the fight to the Fed in just about a half hour. Awesome. Yeah. We're going to go down there and serve them with an eviction notice. Sounds good, man. Ruining our quiet enjoyment of the Commonwealth. Of course, Paul Ryan supposedly conservative values. He was in favor of the bailouts. You know, it's just out of control. So we do come at Obama from the left. While I was, we were in Tampa, both of the governor and me, celebrating Ron Paul at the, prior to the Republican National Convention. And it said in the Tampa newspaper, front page headlines, the Obama administration has acknowledged that they're not going to have drones flying over Tampa during the Republican Convention. Oh, really? Translation, that's an exception. Normally we do. I can commit to you, we in the Johnson Gray administration are not going to have drones flying over our country unless there's a judicial warrant. For I heard one statistic, uh, 30,000 by 2015. Um, this is out of control. What can we the people do to get you guys, the libertarians, in the debates? Is there anything that we can do? Yes. Take it personally. Tell people that, first of all, in the, that uh, we can do this. And talk about the wasted vote center. Well, what is really a wasted vote? If you're a Republican and Romney doesn't represent you, it's a wasted vote to vote for Romney because now you're telling the Republican Party this is an acceptable candidate. You are wasting your vote. Same thing if you're a Democrat and Obama does not represent you. This hope and stuff is not materialized, doesn't have a plan. A wasted vote is voting for Obama if he doesn't represent you. And honestly, there's something too, and this sounds defeatist, because we are running to win. And, but as a fall, truly fallback position, if we just get 5% of the vote, that means that there will be the beginning of the end of the two-party system, because we will then, in 2016, be entitled to, to matching funds, and also on every state where we get 5% or more, we'll be on the ballot in the following presidential election. So talk about a wasted vote. That is a vote of so in, much importance. We're fully expecting to do it. I'll be enormously disappointed if we only get 5% because I'm really are running to win. But that's the fallback position. One way or the other, the lesser of two evils is still an evil. Absolutely. Vote for Governor Gary Johnson, the only one that stands up for liberty. Uh, my name is Landon Cook. Uh, I'm here because, I mean, the Fed itself, I mean, whether we end it or at least get people to think about it, uh, to actually understand, like, you know, the banking system, understand how it works. Uh, you know, if we can get people to at least think about it, because most people don't even understand it, so we get people to at least ponder and kind of understand why we're here, why the Fed, you know, isn't a good idea, why central banking is a bad idea. I mean, that's why I'm here, I guess, so. And what kind of, th uh, you're, you're a hardcore libertarian, would you say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What you is, know? do you support uh, Gary Johnson, J Jim Gray, like, who I you think so, yeah. yeah? Yep. What are some of the other issues you're interested in? I mean, the Fed's a big one, just because uh, it encompasses so many things, uh, but I mean, obviously, uh, well, let me think about this. Uh, I mean, civil liberties are a big thing, like, you know, overseas occupation, the U.S. empire, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, you're just broke in, like, the government, and, you know, encroaching on everybody's personal lives. Uh, that bothers me a lot. Um, that's always kind of bothered me. Because before, I wasn't really, I was kind of apathetic, but eventually things start to click. And Why do you think you changed from being apathetic to being interested? Um, because I just knew it wasn't working. I started, I think, uh, 2008, I had a lot of questions financially. I'm like, you know, why did this happen? Uh, it didn't really make, what I was being told didn't really make sense, so I started kind of looking into it. And then uh, at that point, like, the economics took over, and then after that, it's like, well, from a moral standpoint, uh, thinking about, uh, you know, civil liberties, like, then all of a sudden you understand it's an entire philosophy. So. Well, uh, what is, are there any groups or uh, organizations, anyone that you, you kind of work with, that you talk, hang out with, talk to, follow? Um, I mean, generally, uh, I started out with, like, Campaign for Liberty. Uh, at this point, it's just kind of whatever I see on Facebook or whatever or online. Uh, 
I mean, largely, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think the way that social media has kind of evolved, I think you can kind of essentially be a part of like a million different groups that kind of work together, like, so, yeah. The monetary system in order to devalue our currency, the Federal Reserve is using the monetary system in order to devalue our currency. 95% of the value of the dollar since 1913 has been eroded. The purpose of the Federal Reserve was to balance markets. It was to in ensure employment. It wasn't supposed to devalue our currency and make it infinitely more expensive to buy a loaf of bread. Make it infinitely more expensive to pay your mortgage. Okay? Make it infinitely more expensive to provide for your family, to buy health care. Our money is worth nothing. 10%. Almost every single year the dollar has been devalued. Next year, the Fed's charter is up. We will be marching right now to the Federal Reserve to deliver an eviction notice yeah! to the Fed to let them know that they have until December 23rd at 11.59 p.m. to vacate the building because they are destroying the quiet enjoyment of the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Yeah! We all have the right to quiet enjoyment and they have sowed the seeds of discontent and suffering across this nation yeah! and across the Commonwealth. So please join us, follow us to the Federal Reserve where we will serve that eviction notice and begin the process of healing in this country. Yeah! We start in the value of our dollar. And the Fed. Max with us! And the Fed! 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 pretty much on national politics and only want to focus my efforts on New Hampshire. I figured I'd come out, you know, support my friends and support my fellow uh, liberty activists who are still delusional enough to think that the country can be saved. The Federal Reserve banking system keeps on printing out you and more debt for people are suffering. And the answer to the $16 trillion debt is spread out more money. Now they're doing the QE3, you want to buy it? Buy it! 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 ceremonial uh, placing of the audit. Shall we knock on the door to see if anyone's home? <laughs> Try it. Where's our live stream? Where is our live stream? Yes. I don't know. Run your mouth. Keep I'll busy for a minute. Go oh, these guys catch up. You can go up as far as you want. It's basically public. But it's not, uh... I don't know. We're going to have a power wall right now. As far as I know, I think you guys will go up to the end. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping you guys got to stay chill all out here. I was hoping we could get a uh, one of those. those we get a picture. Uh, uh, take it. Ah, uh, jeez, I didn't think they came out. Was all the other, um, they came out once, uh, one year. Uh, yeah, 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 the first year. Yeah. They, wanted, know, they wanted my ideas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much.
What do you think? Hey, they're gonna see if we can come out. <laughs> see if the Fed Reserve is gonna come out and play, so we can give them our eviction notice. Really? Is he said? Yeah. Are they in there? Wait, what are they Someone's in there. Let me see the eviction notice. So she's here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, they won't ask to go to the doors. This is um, this is the this is the one we're supposed to stay behind. No, this is the final version. Yeah, some of them are different. Oh, we had it. All right. It's just like. Oh, he's going to check if they'll come out. Hey, Frank, let everyone know. Let everyone know. He's going to check right now. Look at him. He's walking over. All right, we're seeing if anyone's home. Uh, knock, knock, knock. He's talking to him now. That's the guy right there. We got a wreck with the Fed on here. This, the cops asking uh, the police officer uh, asking if uh, the guy from the Fed will take our our slip, our eviction notice. I want to talk to Robert Pratt. And the Fed! 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 Why not? Let's say what he says to Frank. I got you. I got you. I Police officer was got something oh, to tell you behind you. Uh, the gentleman there said he, um, if two of you guys want to head up there, you can have somebody meet you. And I uh, talk to him like, and like clap me up or no, reach me. No, no. <laughs> 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 you want to just like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I said two of you guys, yeah. All right, great. Why don't you announce it, tell everyone what you're doing. All right. Bull horn. Sweet. All right, guys. We've been allowed two of us to go and serve our petition. So that's what we're going to do. So if you guys want to come over here and watch us serve the Fed with our petition, that's what's gonna happen. Thank the Boston Police too. Where's the unit? Guys, definitely give it up for the Boston Police right now. You know, they've definitely facilitated this in a huge way. You know, we appreciate it. Good luck, guys. We all come. No, we can't. We gotta. We gotta. We, gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we need to deal with the police. No, just two people. Just two people. I'll watch. Yo, guys. Everyone else stay behind here. That, that's what the deal we made with the police. Let's stay honor Stay here. What? Flaming brown paper bag poop? If they're not back for five minutes, I'm coming in. We've never done this before. Hey, guys, get a bear with us. All right. Looks like Obama was here. I'm going to let you have fun. I'm going to read the petition here before oh, oh. we uh, bring it in. Oh, I wanted to. That's right. That's you right. want to read it to the crew? You want to read it? Yeah, I do. Come on down, man. Damn, I want it. You're on. Hello, hello, hello. By the order of the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and press to MGH, no, MGL. CH 239 Section 8, the Federal Reserve of Boston is hereby ordered to vacate these premises no later than 11.59 p.m. December 23rd, 2013, as started in MGL, all residents of Massachusetts have the right to quiet enjoyment. The Federal Reserve of Boston has violated that quiet enjoyment by creating an environment of suffering and hardship across the Commonwealth. Failure to comply with this notice will result in further action. Any and all fees will be sole responsibility of the Federal Reserve of Boston. That shouldn't be a problem, though the Federal Reserve creates money out of thin air. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Push for this important issue for the audit and Federal Reserve. And how have the uh, Boston police been treating them? Yeah, the Boston police are awesome. I mean, you know, I don't necessarily agree with everything that they do, but today they've been nothing but awesome. You know, they've been working with us, I and mean, we don't have any permits. We're not. We didn't like tell them ahead of time. Hey guys! Happening. So they've been very, you know, very cooperative. They're very working. They can be very, very working. They just let you uh, walk over, and what, what do they let you guys do? Whatever we wanted, really. I mean, we walked right up, you know, downtown Crossing. We we stopped there and blocked that whole middle intersection there for a while. You know, we, we marched up up and down the streets over to Faneuil Hall. You know, we took over both sides of Faneuil Hall. They've, uh, they've been very conducive for us. You know, they just asked that we didn't block traffic on any of the main roads. And what about the uh, Federal Reserve? What did they just let you do here? They let you we uh, just serve served, something? We just served an eviction notice um, to the Federal Reserve. Actually, it's right up there on the door right now on the inside. Um, the Federal Reserve police officer came out and took it and brought it in for us. Um, they've been served. That they're... You know, creation of financial hardships here in the Commonwealth and, and in the large New England area will no longer be tolerated. And they're ordered to evict at the expiration of their charter next year.